take a look at the food, beverages, and activities in your life from the standpoint of overall well-being. Mm-hmm. And we all could use a little of that, right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> I, I do too. Or even if you're already on the right path, sometimes you just need encouragement or mm-hmm. Or tips to shake things up a little bit because right. you know you're kind of get into the a rut right. sometimes, and your diet, your workout routine can really it can get a little boring. So Barbara Unell or Unell, Unell, uh, Unell, yes. yes. Uh, I was in fact Cora just came in and told me exactly yes. how to say it, and I wasn't paying attention because I was sending a tweet. Uh, Barbara Unell, founder of the Back in the Swing organization and co-author of the Back in the Swing cookbook is joining us right now to talk about the book and its overall goal. And a very good morning to you, Barbara. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, nice to have you here. Now, when the book arrived, I brought it home, as I always do, and I started thumbing through it. And I found myself very engaged because it's far more than a cookbook. You have so much healthful information in there, helpful and healthful. Right. (laughs) Thank you. Right. We do. We do. And hopefully the kind of information that is motivating and inspiring um, and encouraging, um, and no guilt, no guilt added, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Now, the book is targeted toward women who are sur- who have survived breast cancer, mm-hmm. and you call it back in the swing because of the expression, right? Exactly. The, 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 um, the book um, um, came about uh, by um, an invitation from Andrews McMeal Publishing, um, to tell the story of our nonprofit, national nonprofit, which is Back in the Swing. And if people want to know more about it, they can go to Back in the Swing, all one word, B A C K I N T H E S W I N G dot org. Um, and we, um, we exist uh, to fill this gap for folks after they've experienced breast cancer to help them. Um, answer the question, now what? How do I eat? What, how do I build my bones? How do I strengthen my heart? What kind of exercises should I do? How do I make sure that I'm doing everything I can do to prevent recurrence and also improve and protect my health? We started that organization about 14 years ago, and um, this book, the Back in the Swing Cookbook, um, is a compilation of the latest research, as you said, um, and recipes, and we sort of use that word recipes globally, you know, the, the kinds of things we need to know to uh, live well um, every day. We, I'd love to call it the Back in the Swing Life Book. Oh. That, isn't that more of what you think it is right. as you look at it? Barbara, 100%. Yeah, yeah. that's what mm-hmm. I was going to say. Thank I was going to ask you how much you think that the fundamentals in this book apply to women or men, for that matter, in other life situations, you know, where they may be in, you know, just recovering from some sort of crisis. Absolutely. It's so true. I mean, that's such a good point, and I'm so glad we're talking about that because I think in this country particularly, um, we've, we Every three minutes, someone in this country is in America is diagnosed with breast cancer, which mm. is an amazingly startling statistic um, because you think that every single one of those folks is actually asking that question. The most important question is, how do I get well, right? Um, that's the whole point of treatment. And so, so there, there is an, you know, almost three million breast cancer, there are almost three million breast cancer survivors in this country. But there's also every, you don't know anybody who, uh, you know, if they're a woman going to get a mammogram every year or uh, someone who knows somebody who's trying to prevent cancer, trying to prevent heart disease, trying to prevent diabetes, or trying to swing back from it. Um, so, that's the fun of this book is the discovery that it really can help all of us to to feel that we can be empowered to take care of ourselves um, and and so the 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 writing is written exactly that way the recipes are all designed to help us all feel good mind body and spirit Barbara you're a journalist correct correct yeah and I can I feel that as I'm reading it because it, it just comes from that type of standpoint. Patty and I are both journalists as well, and so maybe that's part of the reason why I just enjoy reading this book so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a nice compliment. Thank you. Yes. Um, yeah, that's exactly the concept, is is um, that this this information and this soul-giving kind of uh, um, recipes, if you will, for, for all how we live and how to live in a sense of positive, energetically, um, sort of Healthful, but that word is so scary, right? Healthy, right? Yeah. You know, I don't want anything healthy, right? <laughs> 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 that next chapter. Um, uh, so, so we we wrote the book, and I wrote the book in terms of the research. So again, it wasn't scary, and it wasn't sort of threatening, um, but it it 
tends to look at the best side of what we know, that oftentimes many of our doctors, I don't care what kind of doctor it is, whether it's someone in oncology or a general practitioner, they just don't tell us. So there's all kinds of secrets in here, right, guys? All right. Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> one of the tricks to journalism that uh, Patty and I have used many, many times over the years is to share a personal story mm -hmm. uh, to bring the reader in and make a connection and also make a point for what the entire story is about. Mm -hmm. And that is done very well with this book because, and I apologize, I can't remember if you're sharing your own story or that of somebody else's, but... Uh, after being diagnosed and treated and successfully beating breast cancer, the person is just let go without the doctors have no sort of like, well, here's how you now remain what? healthy. Here's right. how you don't have a recurrence, right. that sort of thing. Right. And that right. brought me into the book. That's it. That's standard of care. I mean, that's that's standard of care actually uh, across all over the world, really. And, and, and that's what existed back when I, I, I was asked the question. And that is exactly my story. But it's not just my story. Um, it's, it's amazing when I give talks and I, I talk about this book particularly or just have given talks over the past decade. And, and people are amazed. They're really? That's what? Well, when I had my heart attack, you know, I went to physical rehab and I got a whole plan. Or when I broke my leg, I, you know, that I got a walking cast and then I was able to move forward. And they're like, that's what they do? They t no, they can't send you home. <laughs> right. and I'm like, yeah. Maybe they feel like you've already been through so much, you know, that uh, <laughs> the last thing you want to see is a hospital or have another regimen again. Well, exactly. And so this book was written you know, again, back to the information piece and back to the journalism piece, you know, it's it's as much of a mission about that in terms of a of taking a stand on the fact that we individuals just I call them consumers, you know, just not just patients, consumers need to really stand up and say, you know, I want my voice to be heard. And so I hope people take the book, not just to if they have a situation where they're in, into oncology or cancer treatment, but anything and say, hey, how about my bones or my heart or, or how about this business of exercise or I have some, some swelling in my arm and bring the book to their doctor and say, look at this piece of research from, you know, the American Medical Association or the Journal mm -hmm. of, of XYZ, New England Journal of Medicine. What do you think about that? So we can work together with our physicians, um, and this book can kind of be their guide, uh, per everybody's guide to say, hey, there's research-based information here. I want to make sure that my doctor knows this. Right. And you know, Patty, you and I are completely glossing over the fact that the book is filled with so many great recipes. Right. I mean, that, that is sort of the overarching uh, theme yeah. of the book. How did we only have about a minute left? How did you come up with the ingredients that should be used, the combinations, that sort of? Is that what you were going to ask? Well, buddy? yeah, and and uh, you know, food. What we all love it. We all need right. it. So, what a great vehicle. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. And and that that I think back to the idea of the recipes and your good question about that um, is that eating, again, should be a joyful, wonderful, non-threatening experience. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes we think of the juxtaposition between health and, you know, oh, gosh, it's going to taste bad or it's going to be, you know, something I don't want. And so uh, Judith Fertig, who is a fantastic friend and um, uh, the co-author who's written about 20 cookbooks herself, um, developed these recipes and so tasted them all, tested them all, and made sure that, that they fit the taste uh, equation, that they were easy to use, and they fit our, our uh, key factors on being healthy. Well, I can't well. wait to make some of them. Uh, Barbara, Yunel, and say hi to Judith Forrest, who's on vacation. Yes. And thank you so much for joining us. Back in the swing.org for more information. You're terrific. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, stick around, everyone. Our business segment is next. Is your city honest? I mean, honest. Be honest. <laughs> is your city honest? We're going to find out in just a moment.